Good morning, thank you for having me. My name is Kim Townsend um, and I am a resident of St. Louis County. I am an educator with over 15 years of teaching um, and leadership experience throughout the St. Louis area. Um, I have worked in district public schools, charter public schools, and an independent school. And so in all of those experiences, I've worked with um, such a wide variety of families who had many, many different options and choices for their students, particularly my families who lived in the city of St. Louis. There are numerous charter options as well as magnet schools within the public schools. There are assigned um, neighborhood school as well as independent options. Families who live in, in St. Louis County only have, the only public option that they currently have is their assigned school. And so both as an educator, a resident of St. Louis County, and a mother of a four-year-old, I support um, charter this bill 292 in support of charter expansion. Um, because as I've said, right now the only option for parents in my community, including um, for all the parents in my community is to um, put their child in the district that may or may not meet their needs, that may or may not be the right fit for their family for a variety of reasons, which could include the structure of the school, it could include schools that are underperforming. I live within the Hazelwood School District. Um, so parents are either forced to put their child in the school and hope that um, it is a good experience. They have to move to a different community that offers public schools with greater innovation and choice and opportunities parents are homeschooling and or sacrificing to send their children to public, I'm sorry, to private or parochial schools. And so for families with financial means and opportunity to homeschool or move or pay for private school, that works out fine. And for families that do not have those options, they are stuck with only the school that they are assigned to. And so I've been working, um, again, as an educator, I've begun working this past year with parents and educators in my community, and we are building and designing an innovative school that I Ideally would be a great option for not only my child, but also many other parents in the community who want something different. Currently, our only option is to partner with our district, and that is something that I am rigorously and vigorously um, um, in, in trying to do. Um, and yet the reality is that if the district chooses not to support our school, we have no option. And so this bill would allow us an appeal process in the event that um, the district decides not to sponsor our school. And so I am you know, just hoping that you guys would um, um, pass legislation that would allow choice and options for myself um, and all the families in St. Louis County. Thank you. I'd just like to say you get an A plus on your testimony today because <laughs> she wasn't reading anything there, Senator. She was just testifying. I did have some bullet points. Well, I know, but <laughs> but you did a you did a awesome job. I do have one question for you. Yes. You say you've taught in charter school before? No? Um yes, so I've worked in charter schools. You worked in charter schools. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, how was special needs children? How were their needs met in the charter schools that you're familiar with? Yeah, in the charter schools where I'm familiar, um, they have uh, done, they've been accomplished in two ways. Um, one has been um, hiring special education teachers directly and those teachers being an integrated part of that school's faculty. Um, and then the other way has been um, a process of outsourcing um, and so working with an organization in St. Louis where um, different therapists or special education teachers I see. were able to come in and work in the school district. Okay. And so uh, in a similar way that schools in St. Louis County utilize special school district to meet needs across various buildings, but those people are housed in the school. I've worked in charter schools and seen other schools do that as well, where okay. there is someone from an outside organization that's not employed by the school, but housed at that school. I see. 